Fun horn, super fun. Just arrived to our shop. Yay for the new studio. I'm gonna tell you all about this GP trumpet in just a bit, stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Be sure to hit the subscribe button wherever it might be to stay up to date with our YouTube videos. We've been a bit busy. We've recently shipped out about 150 horns in less than two weeks because our doublers came in. And um, there's no wait list right or wait time right now for the doublers. So if you want to order a doubler, now is the time. This just came in as a trade and it's a super fun horn. See how big that bell is. Uh, the GP4 is not really well known in the US, although I played a few at ITGs in the past few years. It's an Italian made horn, and look, at, it's a completely handmade horn. You can see the very old school uh, way to make the, the bell with all those. You see that? Get that a little closer so you can see inside that bell. This is a large bell, it's 140 millimeters or five and a half inches basically. Um, this is raw brass. I'll show you the engraving. Hold on one second, let me get that going. There you go. Just beautiful. And the block might look a little familiar. The valve block is an Adams block, so it's a Bauerfein valve block. I think now they use uh, Christian Bosque valves, um, which are also great, but I'm, as you know, I'm an Adams guy, so these valves feel amazing. This looks like an A6 block, but it's actually a, a medium large um, cluster. So while the look looks like that constellation and it has a wide wrap kind of like the constellation, um, it's a medium large horn. And it actually feels a little bit more open than a medium large to me. It feels really good. Uh, rounded crook, single brace here on the tuning slide, a long ferrule attaching the, the bell to the valve block, and some pretty unique uh, brace positioning. You won't see that if I don't put it in the camera. There you go, as well. Uh, if you know Fabrizio Bosso, he's an incredible Italian trumpet player, and he plays this, this horn. Um, very interesting brace position on this as well. It's really far from the block, so that's probably what makes it so, so very much centered. Um, I remember playing a few other horns that had really far brace positions up there, and it's a really great combination between the brace position and the bell. So it's a really good balance. Um, I think this horn is primarily suited for uh, a jazz soloist, but you can do a lot of things on it. So let me turn off my uh, talking mic and play a little bit. This is raw audio. You might hear my air conditioner going on. Uh, no processing at all. So it has that really nice thickness when you want it to play it creamy, but it will pop too.
sorry if my mic overheats. I'm still getting used to the new setup, so I might do another much more polished uh, video on this horn in a bit. There's one cosmetic thing I need to show, and I'll try to zoom in here, see if I can do this. Right on the top of the bell, you see right here, this had a dent in the bell when we got it, so we rolled it out, but you're gonna see, a, that's a really hard place to take a dent out. Um, so you're gonna see some scarring. I'll, I'll see if you can see it on there. Can't really, uh, you can a little bit, but it's not really crazy bad. We did a really good job on that. Actually, our friends at Heritage did that. Heritage Music Repair, they're really great. Um, it will be reflected in the price because this horn's around 3,000 euro uh, new, so we'll be pricing it quite, quite affordably. If you have any questions, comments, or yeah buts, be sure to post them in our comments here. And as always, thanks so much for your great support. If you have any questions about gear, let us know. We're always here to help you. Info at austincustombrass.com or call us 816-410-0826. Hope you all have an awesome day. Happy tooting. And uh, check out this on our store soon.